Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free mini photo tutorials and here we are can you guess I'm sure you know it's at the uh, the Louvre and here you can see the new and the old there's the classic old uh, palace which is absolutely enormous I think it's still the largest museum in the world now which uh, not only covers all of the breadth of this photo but much more and then the wings the wings of it come down here and down on this side as well quite amazing and here is the <coughs> uh, monstrosity stroke stroke of genius depending on your school of thought where they decided to um, install an enormous modern sleek glass pyramid well not even just one there's another couple on the sides as the new entrance to the museum where you go down inside it and of course famously there's or rather but less known there's an upside down pyramid uh, underneath the Louvre um, in the in the underground shopping center um, which was also uh, part of the uh, the da Vinci novel which uh, some people come to Paris so just for that and now do things like da Vinci trails as I mentioned in another photo analysis when I was in the uh, Eglise Saint Eustache and they're not particularly pleased that tourists are more interested in the uh, the aspects of the novel which are found in the church uh, than in the spiritual aspect of the of the place here we are then <clears throat> look at the weather absolutely horrible gray sky you can see by this person here that it's raining windy and cold it, it was in December flat lighting um, miserable basically <laughs> absolutely miserable in almost all all counts apart from the fact that we're taking photos and we're in Paris so <laughs> what can you do make the most of it here are some other attempts and you'll see that well you uh, you can see what you think you see how gray it is how mushy here's some others it's fuzzy as well because the lighting is low it's difficult to get things sharp look at how dark that is it's quite sinister actually even without me doing anything funny to it then here are some close-ups we we're trying to I was trying to demonstrate shutter speed on the on water capturing water with a sharp spot with a fast shutter speed capturing water as like blobs of um, of glass clear blobs of glass and then with a slow shutter speed making it look like um, foam or something but in fact there was so little light it was absolutely impossible to choose a fast enough shutter speed to really capture the water uh, hang on here was my attempt yeah that was that was on something ridiculously fast like a I don't know 500th of a second or something and it just wouldn't let me do it anyway back to the point <clears throat> I was having problems uh, so I, I was looking for something I, I like to contrast these two the old and the new the uh, the classical and the modern and uh, but it needs something else and there there is the something else the uh, the woman with the purple umbrella I assume it's a woman don't know maybe that's sexist uh, this was almost the something else the couple nicely silhouetted almost against this bright bit that's that's halfway to good uh, given the circumstances but um, <clears throat> in the end this was better she's slap bang in the middle which is kind of nice and for, I'm not too happy about that person there but um, it doesn't matter and there's these two windows are nicely lit as well so basically in terms of color this photograph has three bits the big purple blob in front and these two smaller parts so probably nice and the rest kind of just disappears into a anonymous sort of porridge let me show you what happened this is what happened and because it's a, a vertical shot and I wanted to show you reasonable detail um, I haven't included all of it in the the horizontal frame that we have available so that's why I'm going up and down here so you can see that I've considerably brightened it and highlighted those three bits of color if we ignore this little guy here lovely purple umbrella almost surrounded by these two and certainly complemented by these two orange uh, windows here purple and orange are both complementary colors 
uh, second, sorry, secondary colours. In other words, they're made up of other colours, which is nice. Purple is made up of uh, red and blue. Orange is made up of red and yellow, and uh, the other one is green, made up of green and yellow, made made up of blue and yellow. Um, and secondary colours often go well together. So here it is, the final picture, rescued, thank goodness, by the the purple umbrella woman. Without her, I don't I don't know. Um, where we would have been, and uh, and the windows, the windows which are nice. I must admit, if you compare, look at the contrast, uh, this dark bit of the pyramid and this light bit, and I'll just go back to the um, to the original. You see, that was much much less prominent, uh, and by sh by sharpening that up. It's not that you're cheating, it's just that you're getting it back to normal. You're getting it back to something that's actually worth looking at. Same goes for the architecture. If you choose good lighting, if I had a tripod, I'm not really a tripod guy, if I'd had a tripod, then you know, I could have might might have been able to get something close to this with with the right lighting. But um without computer processing these days on such a murky day, it wouldn't have been possible. So there it is. Even got the roof looking rather nice and uh, crisp. Um and of course if there is a bit of grain, well I don't really care personally because I like it. Something I just have to mention here before my battery runs out. Uh, if you look at this building it's slightly tilting off to the left. You see what I mean? It's it's slightly this way um, which is my fault because of that's the angle I took it at. It wasn't perfectly straight. So because our eyes generally expect to see buildings perfectly vertical, that could be troubling. Uh, so I adjusted it slightly. So if you look there, it's more or less absolutely straight on, so that doesn't become an issue. Um, a lot of changes aren't should be changes not so that you can see something new, but so that you don't see something you shouldn't. So a slightly off vertical building um, just gets in the way of people enjoying the photograph. It's not that you're adding a special effect, you're correcting something which shouldn't be that way. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I did and I literally, I think it was literally one degree, plus one degree to, to make it, to put it upright and to remove any um, irritation to the eye, if you like, <laughs> that that might have given you. Um, and that's about it, uh, as I run out of battery on my computer, because I found an interesting aspect of my computer uh, the only way I can record these recordings without a horrendous hum is by completely unplugging everything. So that's my little uh, story for the evening. I'll leave you with this one. Murking conditions, therefore, moral of the story, aren't necessarily the end of the world. You can take shots, but you will have to resort to some well-chosen post-processing and also doing your best um, to to add something which you know will help the photograph later, such as this bright purple umbrella. Without that, the shot would have been almost unusable. Right, that's it for, to, for today. Thanks for watching. See a high quality version of this on the blog, parissetmefree.blogspot.com, and see you next time in Paris. Bye bye. Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre, je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre, depuis que je suis à Paris.